Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tell me when it's eight o'clock. We'll start. Yes. Yeah. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. All right. So uh, I, I welcome you all to our Monday night bi-weekly Yiddish Alive. Um, and th thank you very much for, for joining us. Um, I want to just kind of talk about, first of all, that the, this Yiddish Alive is being sponsored by the Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs. And uh, we have a number of affinity groups that are getting together bi-weekly or monthly. And, uh, Edie Rubin. and it's a lot of fun. So a couple of things that we learned that are important. One is we'd like people to mute their phones or mute their phones, their, uh, uh, their screen. And uh, raise your hand, and, and either Al or Joe or I will uh, call on you to talk so we don't get people talking all over each other. And we'll leave, you know, 15 minutes at the end to kibitz if people want to stay, stay, stay on, or, you know, I've got this reserved till 930 if people want to just chat afterwards. Um, what, what we do is we start off by people that are new, um, introducing themselves, uh, where they're from, how they're connected to Yiddish. And tonight's agenda is uh, we're going to continue with expressions. Uh, one of the things that we asked everybody to do is write them down and, and send them to us and uh, we'll compile them. And we'll find somebody, if they, they can write them up in Yiddish, we'll do that too, you know, with the, the Yiddish script. So, so Al, Al and Joe are our leaders. Uh, I'm going to ask Al to, uh, to start us off and, uh, and uh, introduce our new people. If there are okay. Um, first of all, I, I, Ed, Bonnie, have you guys been with us before? I don't think so. Uh, no, before. we are new to this. Oh, nice. Okay, so oh, well, why, don't you, why don't you start us off, say a few words, tell us who you are, where you're living, and how you came to your Yiddish uh, where did your, your knowledge or whatever it is of Yiddish come from? Take a minute or two. Well, okay. So we're originally from Brooklyn, New York. It all started in Brooklyn. And, uh, and we lived in New Jersey for 20 years. That's where we raised the children. Oh, yes, I can say. And or they raised us. And, uh, and we came to uh, Charleston about uh, 21 years 21 ago. 21 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. right? And I still talk like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so actually, my mother was born yeah. in New York City, but because everyone talked Yiddish in the house, uh, she when she started school, she started school in um, English as a second language. Mm -hmm. um, and until she went to school, she really didn't know much English. Um, and I, but, I was lucky enough to have a bubby in the house until I was eleven. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever my parents didn't want me to know what they were saying, they spoke in Yiddish. Mm -hmm. Which is... And I could figure it out. And uh, I still understand better than I speak, but I can follow it and I can still get it done. Not a lot of opportunity, though, these days. You know, my mother's, my mother's sister-in-law actually learned how to speak Yiddish because she thought that my grandmother was talking about her. <laughs> and she wanted to know what they were saying, so she learned Yiddish. <laughs> no, and... Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Good. Okay, okay, good. Here you can learn and, and, and hear a few more words. We got you. We got you. And we okay, heard, so about, you from, uh, we heard think, about you from, we heard about you from Betty, who's Betty on the screen Rosie. now. Hi, Betty. Hi, Hi Rosie. Hi, Edie. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Where in Brooklyn are you from? Um, East Flatbush. Yeah, East Flatbush. Okay, Actually, Ed nice lived right about. around the corner from the crazy house. <laughs> <laughs> and then in Jersey, where? Uh, Matawan. 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 Not far from me. I'm at Highland Park, right outside in New Brunswick. So I, I used to walk to Ebbets Field every weekend. Yeah, from Brooklyn, not from New Jersey. No. Yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> My mother-in-law was Brooklyn. from Brooklyn as soon as the uh, Coney Island she was raised. And mm -hmm. as soon as the Dodgers moved to, to uh, Los Angeles, that's it. Traders, you would never follow them again. <laughs> yeah, I know. My brothers really yeah, had a hard time with heart. that. Yeah. All right. Well, welcome to our group. Richard, I see you raising your hand back there. Richard Gorman, press your space bar so you can speak. Where is he? I come from oh, yeah. East Blackbush also. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and by a coincidence, yeah. 
every couple of weeks we would get a call for the Brooklyn Dodger Bar and Grill. For some reason, there was only one digit difference. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to make it all well, you Al, 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 I think I think there's some other people that are. Well, I, I was going to ask. I just wanted to acknowledge Richard. Is there anybody else that's new with us this evening? Andrea. Andrea. All right. Well, please say hello and give us some background. She needs to Hi. Here. I'm Harriet Goldberg. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey. hi, Harriet. Hi, Harriet. Hi, Harriet. Hi, Harriet. I spoke Yiddish until I actually, well, we in the house, I always spoke Yiddish because my bubba didn't understand English. Ah, there you go. So, and I spoke Yiddish with my mother, but when I was 13, I decided that I was not going to speak it anymore. Mm -hmm. So she would talk to me in Yiddish and I'd answer her in English. And yes, my son claps to my moil. <laughs> but I try. <laughs> so where are you from now? Where do you call home? Originally from um, Queens, New York. Where about? I've been here 62 years, Where's something here? like that. Where's here? Where's here? Charleston. Charleston. Oh. In Charleston, okay. And where in Queens were you? I was in Jackson Heights, and then we moved to Rosedale. Rosedale, okay. I was in Bayside. It's kind of halfway between Jackson Heights and Rosedale. Uh, did you know where the Pizza King was? <laughs> That was Rosedale. Everybody yep. I taught, they say, oh, wasn't that where the Pizza King was? Yes, it <laughs> yeah. was. Yes, it was. Okay, we had called on Andrea, so we'll, we'll get her next. Andrea, hi. Hi, so I'm from the Boston area. I've been here for just two months now. And uh, here is Charleston. And I'm enjoying it very much. Uh, I just retired as I'm a teacher. I still say I am a teacher, so um, it seems to be a lovely area. And unfortunately, just coming in the COVID, it makes it a little difficult to meet people. But I'm doing my best over here. So as to my Yiddish, um, similar to the other people, my mom and grandmother would speak Yiddish when they didn't want us to know something. And I picked up a few things. Um, but I forget an awful lot. Like uh, the conversation that you just had, I, I said, I'm lost. I don't know that at all. Um, the biggest one that I remember is Echab <laughs> Darren Bud. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I figured that one out. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I, I think all of us have had that one. Well, welcome, Andrew. You will find that over time here. You'll remember more expressions. You'll pick up a few more. And as we share them, uh, something will hit you and will probably stick. Thank All right, you. so welcome yeah, again. Hannah, 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 you're on, you're on. Let me just, H Hannah called Shirley during the week. Tell, tell us about what happened the night after this. It was really funny. <laughs> I know. All of a sudden, I go to bed late and I, I have a hard time falling asleep and all this, um, all this expression. I started with the word, ah, ah, right? I don't know what kind of I should I told all of them I a green a shrek then it went from there Miken Khalishan and uh and all this what else by the way my sister just reminded me today she was talking um, and let's see if I wrote it down because I always say it wrong. Apaskvutske, kapaskvutskvo. You don't, you didn't hear this? It's from Russian. It's yeah. Russian. That's and not Yiddish. Paskvutskvo for a lady in a paskudya, pask... Oh, a paskudya. Pas 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 yeah. pas yes. pas yeah. That's what we know, paskudya. Right, and a klafte, my sister, a klafte. Oh, yeah, a klafte. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is a cloth to tell everybody that doesn't know. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a mini. It's a mini. Yeah. A mini person, right. Right. Yeah. Oh, 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 you want to say somebody's missing a, a school, you say a, a klepke is missing. I don't know the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? Right? laughs> I'll have a lot of use for that one. I know. <laughs> I, I say it a lot often too. 
<laughs> I've been told I'm missing a few myself. Yeah, Hannah, you've written these down. Have you written these all down? So, because we want to. I, I wrote some of them. Shirley had a few too. You had a few, Shirley. Do you remember any of those? Uh, I think I mentioned one. Uh, if uh, my mother didn't think we looked healthy, she would say, Bist fagrin to be a jabba. Mean as a frog. Oh, I know. <laughs> right. Right, and uh, and in, in my family, if somebody said somebody didn't look well, said Erzetos as as I as I always give back the herring, like a dried out fish, you know, like a. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Oh, some, if you didn't see somebody for a long time, they really look bad. I mean, this is not a good case. I remember we say. Givoran had a telf in the mensch, you know. That's right. The person is, is really looks oh. bad. Fell apart, yeah. Fell apart, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what, um, well, some famous ones, I think maybe they were mentioned last time. Uh, surely you said in your family they said that. I, I learned this from actually an acquaintance, Kakemun. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember that. That's a good one, right? Yeah. Well, that was the Irish police officer that was directing traffic. Car stop, car stop, cock a mud, cock a mud. <laughs> yeah. uh, Al, 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 why don't you ask others to, to, uh, to share what share their uh, their? Maybe they know. Well, I'd like to see, first of all, do we have all the newbies first? Is there anybody else yeah. that hasn't been here before? Okay, good. So let's do that. Um, how about if we just go around the screen? I'm, I'm going to just run around that way, and, and that way we'll make sure everybody gets a shot, and then we can chime in afterwards. And I'm going to start since I have Mike in the upper left corner. Mike and Shirley, well, Shirley said a few. Mike, give us some. I said it right. Oh, I gave, I gave, mine are very lame, so. You know, Gay, and Gerard, Gay, Gay and Gerard, I remember Gay that. Gay. Gay and Gerard, I remember that. Toxicopter, yeah. I remember yeah. that. And, uh... <laughs> I don't remember too many others. And how about when you had told your mother you had nothing to do and she said nothing to do, gay club is cup off and bust. That's right. That's right. <laughs> now, I don't know if it was if it was Jewish or not, but they used to ask me to roll roll a peanut down the road with my nose. No. <laughs> I was just, I was just they told me to go outside and roll a, roll a peanut with your nose. That's a nice one. My father used to tell me, you know, that new cereal they have in the store, we'll go to the store and get lost. Anyway, Joe, read the portrait. Zuck in Epis. Mein Vater hat gesagt, dass er mal Kratz sagt. But it, de yeah. it, de <laughs> it depended on who he was talking to in the situation. So it, it's a bit variable. You could say Kratz and Tuchus. <laughs> you could say Kratze in in, uh, in Bud. You know, there's it just depended on how you wanted to end that. Uh, you know, you could scratch yourself wherever you want, or in a specific location bodily, or in a specific <laughs> location. Uh, you know, it didn't matter in the bathtub, in the ocean. Kratze in Yam. He loved to use the word Kratze to so scratch yourself. It was Did fun. he ever use it vulgarly? Uh, well, only in Tuchus. My friend's father <laughs> said, get cuts and baits him. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Don't scratch your uh, ass. Yep, yep. <laughs> Whenever yep. he got angry with him. <laughs> so, you, so you heard that, Snake. <laughs> yes. Rosalyn, hello. Zoom I'm up is. Voice has. She's written her. Her I sayings know, I, now. I, I, but y'all, y'all, you, you beat me to everything. Say, okay, mention. Me, mention them again. Mention them again. Let's hear them again. Uh, I first, if you don't mind, I'd like to personally welcome Ed and Bonnie. They're my two favorite people. <laughs> <laughs> I met. They're Ed. our favorite. Ditto, too. ditto. Many, many years ago, when I was young, about eighty years old, <laughs> I used to go to Costco. And he was my favorite. And I looked at him. I used to call him Mr. Ed. <laughs> Any time I would come in there, you know, I would always make sure that I would see Mr. Ed. And then one day we were talking about gefilte fish. And Bonnie and Ed, every year got Rosie's gefilte fish. So she yeah. stopped. 
right? You're right. Yeah, the best in the world. Wow. Right. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for the wonderful. Um, no, we... so Yiddish. Listen to this. Pick up this poem. Aziza. <laughs> Look at this face, so pretty. Shane and Madel. Yeah, yeah. Shane and Madel. Harriet Goldberg's husband and my husband spoke beautiful Yiddish together. They were best friends. No, um, your husband so spoke. Well. He, Charlie couldn't speak it. Well, he sure told enough Yiddish jokes. Who you told yeah, that he could. Did <laughs> Harriet! Totally. I don't remember. Hello? Also, Harriet was my mother's accountant for a hundred years. She oh still my. is. She's my guru. Harriet, oh, come. You're my sweetie. <laughs> I wish I could come see you, Betty. You better. Oh, my God. I wish I could. I mean, I'm afraid with the COVID. I don't want to bring it. Oh, God forbid. I'll watch it. All right, moving along. Richard, Mr. Gorman. Zugmeapis. Zugmeapis. A poor veteran. I can speak now. Um, I don't know very much Yiddish. All I can remember is from my childhood. After my bar mitzvah, I was in classes in Hebrew school where they taught us Yiddish to read it. And I didn't take very much, but I couldn't take it anymore. So I quit. But. Uh, <laughs> I remember a term which my mother used to call my younger sister. And she said she was an oiskedarftish gronzel. What the hell does that mean? That sounds terrible. Yeah, that's very skinny. Skinny, yeah. I thought that's what it meant. And the other question I have. That's not bad. The other question I have is, what is the British word for Vegetable. Oiskadat. <laughs> no, no, there's a vegetable, not oiskadat. No. Very skinny. I don't know. A word for veg, a Yiddish word yes, for vegetable. Yes, she was. Skinny vegetables. But everybody I ever asked would Yiddish. tell me vegetable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who ate vegetables, right? <laughs> D I did it have something to do with green, like grin, grinzen or something like that? Uh, I, I, greens, yeah, it's greens. Greens. I, I, I think it's No, carrots are marin. Carrots, marin. Are, carrots are marin, carrots but are vegetables marin. are greens. I, I, my, I, father, oh, my father called vegetables since he was from Poland and he ate meat and potatoes. He would tell my mother, don't serve goose, grass. grass. Oh, he called out vegetables, goose. Um, my father-in-law said the same thing, mass in this kind of grass. That's right. <laughs> Elaine, Elaine, has her, Elaine has her hand up. Go ahead, Elaine. Okay, thank you, Mike. Um, for all of you, you know Yiddish. I really don't know it. So if you wouldn't mind translating what you're saying, that would be very nice. Yeah, okay. Medaf Ibakan. Medaf Ibakan. You have to translate. Yeah, good point. Good, good. good point. Thanks, Elaine. Thank Emil. Hello. Yes. I I thought that Oishkadath meant skinny. Yeah. yeah. It does. You're right. And even more, you know, emaciated. It means it emaciated. Actually, right. it means dried up. Oh, dried up. What it meant, like washed down or dried up. I should die to a fin skin. Yeah, it's skinny. My bubba dab flakes of a dada foot. A dada foot? If you're talking about, you know, a little little two by nothing, a skinny little run, is a dada foot. Yeah, I should, that's, that's so amazing. What's the second word? Foot, excuse my expression, you pass gas, you make a foot. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, we used to say it is a lange loksh if somebody. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 that's right. A thin noodle. A thin noodle. Yeah, I mean, a long noodle. Be Betty, yeah. Betty, yeah. Betty, yeah. Betty, yeah. Betty, yeah. Betty, Betty. I do. I'm weaving. All right, he said Betty. Oh, thank you. Um, talking about little, how about a vance? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
a literally a bed bug. It's a bed yeah. bug. Yeah, a vamps is a bed bug. Right. Yeah. It really? Is. Yes, I didn't it know is. that. That's right. You were yeah. right. Yep. Alan, I think Emily Castor had her hand up a few minutes ago. I was just going around the screen, Mike. I was okay, trying to okay. just go one by one that way. So okay. that way I make sure I get everybody without, you know, remembering who did and who didn't. Ruth, okay. hello. Uh, um, most of the stuff I think I said already. So, like, for some reason, my mother, who Yiddish is her mother tongue, uh, uh, the mama lotion. A, a lot of things. She, her mama lotion. She she said stuff backward. Like last week, I told you, she not only did she say oi, she didn't say oi ve and oi gewalt. She combined them into oi ve gewalt. Like you know, which which is like who says this? Also, it's it seems like the whole world says um, uh, chas um, chas no, my mother says Khalila Vechas. She's always, uh, and that's just, it's not that she's trying to do things backwards. She grew up with uh, the same words uh, backward. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe it's because we're Galicianer. I don't know. She <laughs> <laughs> was dyslexic. Yeah, you translate what you just said. Oh, uh, well, oi ve, I don't have to translate, and oi gewalt, I don't have to translate. It's oi gewalt is oi ve, but to a higher degree. And chas um, v'chalila or chalila v'chas either way means heaven forbid. Right, it means like God forbid, you know. If this should Khalila Bachas happen, this should, this should um, never happen, you know. Also, also we we uh, as everybody who who has any connection with Yiddish, um, uh, there's the sarcastic element. So you say something and you mean the opposite. So if you call your kid a chacham, which means wise, you're calling him an idiot. Yeah. Right, <laughs> and, and I had a very uh, good-looking cousin. She was very attractive, and she would always. My mother would call her um, "mees kite," which means oh, ugly yeah. little oh, thing. Yeah. Right, and if if you're not, you know, if you don't realize, I mean, you could hurt somebody's feelings because yeah. you're calling her <laughs> ugly, but you really mean she's beautiful. So to understand the whole Yiddish psychology, you need like you need to read a book, you know. <laughs> It's always it's sarcastic all the time. Also, as I remember, right, 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 these little girls are you a this the miskite of a ziskite? You know, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They see us. Okay, Andrea, hello. We're back to you. Me? Yeah, you. Me? Oh, now you muted I'm yourself. Unmute. Who, who are you calling? Hit the space Unmute. bar. Unmute. Unmute. Gore, uh, can, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. All right. So as I was listening to all of you, I was thinking, what am I going to say? So I came up with Bellabus. Oh, Bellabus. Mm -hmm. Bellabus. Like a Bellabus. So yeah, been a Bellabus. Yeah, been a Bellabus. Yeah. Here's both. Here's Bellabus and Bellabus. Explain it to Elaine. Okay, a balabusta is a male, balabusta is a female. That one, yeah, but you didn't say what it is. Like, what if is somebody's is a good balabusta, she's a good housekeeper, a good key, a good cook, right. takes care of her family. Yeah, good right. a balabus is the owner, also can yeah. be the owner. Of course. Yeah. A balabusta. Of course. A balabusta. yeah, now another word if you're a balabusta, you're okay taking care of the house. But there's a word beyond that. If you are like the balabusta of balabustas, they might call you a bedia. Oh, 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 I've never heard that one. Not heard that that really, either. really. I mean, keeps house like nobody. Hey, Al, Al, Al Julius had his hand up for a while. Hey, Al Snowman. Hi. I'm from, from Heil. I'm Julian Martinson. Ich bleibt in Highland Park oben in Chicago. <laughs> Und äh, ich denke, da, dass als ein als Kind ein Kluge ist, du sagst, kochen bei Leila. Das ist right. sarkastisch. Kochen yeah. bei Leila. So he says, that when a child is being a wise guy, instead of calling him a chocham, a wise person, you call him a chocham bei Leila, a wise person, <laughs> only at night. 
Right. So right. He's a wise guy, not a really wise person. Get, get, <laughs> Thank you. That's the dip. Eleanor Ryder, hello. Hi. Zoom map is. As, um, as the guys felt so shaken that my back was getting shloughed. You do that if the whole world says you're drunk, you should lie down and sleep it off. That's one of the things that I went to. Shaker, 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 it's good to follow with a heavy, uh, behind a, fa a heavy a laden wagon. I can't remember that, um, up, uh, I can't remember that, uh, that there's that. And Amisa uh, Moitominish can kush given. I don't know why that is. Why aren't you allowed to kiss, kiss a, an ugly woman? But that was, uh, uh, I remember my mother used to say that. Also, there's a several jokes about the na. A na, psych in the halba albert. You don't show a fool something that you've only halfway done. My mother said that all the time. Yeah. And so there's a whole thing uh, about a now. I'm not an akint ech. Right. So we had that and and uh, and uh, the way you see her when she's seven years old, that's how she's going to be when she's 70. That's right. And there's a good mama dear mena. I'm talking to the daughter, but actually, I want, I'm talking to the mother, and you know. So there was um, that that there was a whole thing, uh, and uh, there was um, I think the whole business of uh, the, the um, I guess I had a whole bunch, but they they they, they went. But the, the, those right, are, we'll save a few for later. We'll, we'll go around. And I come. I was we'll come back to you. From Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. Uh, and uh, so Brighton Beach, and uh, went to the issue of Flatbush. So uh -oh. I have my Flatbush. I've got married. That's other Meister from from the issue of Flatbush. Husband. Yes, yes. <laughs> Queens went to Queens College and graduated from Queens. So I take in all the boroughs except the Bronx and stuff. Oh, I went to Queens. You went to for Queens for two years. College? Really? Yeah, until I got married. What? What did did you you did did you graduate? Did you graduate? What year? No, no, I didn't graduate. I got married instead. Well, well, right, let's save that for the social yeah. stuff later, yeah. Yeah. ladies. No, let's let's save that for social time. David Beckman, well, you don't look like a David. The name says David, but you don't look like a David. Maybe a Davida. Thank you. We're one. We're one. That's my husband. I'm Esther. Esther, well, uh, welcome. You know you can change that uh, caption to say David and Esther. No, I like David. It's, oh, okay. it's but I used El El The the is and Peckle. Everybody has yeah. his own little package of troubles, yes. Yes. And and the zweite, er is a stick fleisch mit zwei Eugen. He's a piece of meat with two eyes. <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? Big old piece of meat with two eyes. And the dritte, the dritte, the third. Yeah, it's a piece of meat with two eyes. And drei, as die moi is mies, so sie der Spiegel is schuldig. <laughs> if a girl is ugly, she blames the mirror. <laughs> oh, the Spiegel. The Spiegel, yeah. 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 The Spiegel oh. is the mirror, right. Yeah, that's Wait, can we just backtrack a minute? The second one, a piece of meat with two eyes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'm dense, but what does that even mean? <laughs> he's a big clumsy oaf. He's, he's, he's oh, a, 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 yeah, a lump of meat, you know. Nothing, <laughs> lump of meat. Me remember Archie Bunker used to refer to his son-in-law as the meathead? Yeah. Yeah. That would be a stick flesh with Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, hello. Hey, hello. let me call you back. Glad to meet you. Okay. You call on me? Yeah. Ah, I, I have been on before. Uh, I grew up in South Africa and my Boba and Zayda spoke Yiddish and the, the, 
the reverend spoke Yiddish, so I picked up a lot of Yiddish. And nope, nope. now Give that I'm this. in Highland Park, I go to a Yiddish class, but we don't have a teacher, so it's Ochen Vey, we battle. <laughs> not, not so good. Oh. Uh, Explain to everybody battle. What does that mean? We, we, we're struggling a bit. We oh. get a lot of material from, um, from Amherst, from the... Uh, uh, yeah. Yiddish Book Center. Center. From um, the Yiddish, um, Yiddish Book Center. Book Center. Book Center. Can it say by the other poem? Medaf marking the computer a little bit. Can it say the poem? Okay. Atazai. Yes. Noch besser. The poem is besser. not so good. That's it's better. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay. Mike Glazer okay. and the lovely lady next to you. I get to shoot Alech Ben Michael and this is Jeanette Marvab and to the Naya mentioned uh, in Zwoyna in New Canaan, Connecticut. This is by New York and is Gita Chavayim with Mike and Shirley. We're Mike and Jeanette. We live in uh, New Canaan, Connecticut, which is just outside New York. And uh, Mike and Shirley are good friends of ours. And Jeanette, do you want to say something? No, I think you covered it all. I uh, learned a little Yiddish from from my grandmother. But also when my mother-in-law used to come and visit, she would tell all her stories in Yiddish. And I would say, well, I really don't understand it. She says, you'll learn it. Just listen. So consequently, I can understand it more than I can speak it. Okay, so what's a mother-in-law in Yiddish? Oh, I know what the Schwiegermutter. The Schwieger. The father in law is the Schwer and the mother in law is the Schwieger. Yeah. Yeah. Jeanette's family are Austrian, so she heard she grew up listening to German, so she has an unfair advantage because Yiddish is so close to German. But I just quit I won't take much time. Did any of you see sixty minutes with Jerry Seinfeld last Sunday? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. How quickly it was just wonderful. He was on ostensibly. Somebody wrote an editorial. Somebody posted that uh, COVID will be the end of the Big Apple, uh, New York as we know it. And he took an offense and he wrote a response and they had him on. So he called, uh, he, he, re he referred to it as the, uh, 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 the, he called the guy the LinkedIn putz, you know. And uh, so he explained New York. So the guy says, he says, why did you call him that? He says, I don't know what LinkedIn is, but everybody knows what putz is. <laughs> he, he went on, then he went on to say about the fact that Yiddish is, uh, you know, embedded in our culture. And he said, Yiddish, when someone speaks Yiddish, it sounds like singing. And he said, every word in Yiddish could be interpreted as an insult. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, maybe. So back, I, my house, my dad was, uh, my parents actually spoke, uh, they were immigrants like uh, many of our families, but they really believed in uh, embedding themselves in the culture. So whether it was in Europe or in Israel, I grew up in Israel, we would speak Hebrew, but for emphasis, the Yiddish. So I, I heard more emphasis, or I should say swearing. So uh, are you familiar with Meshigets and Toit? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Crazy. In other words, you're totally nuts. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I was yeah. just thinking of something else came to mind. Uh, food, uh, Oscar Brent the soup. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oscar Brent the soup. Yeah. I think it's, a, yeah. I think it's a, a potato soup, I think. But anyway. Oscar Brent is burnt. Burnt. A burnt, burnt. But I think it's it's a potato soup. You, you cook. You no. Know. Oscar Brent, it just means burnt. Okay. Yeah, burnt. You know what? When you cook it, it might have been a localization for you, Mike. And, you know that they the, the potato soup. They called it burnt soup, but it doesn't I have, translate. I don't soup. I don't remember. But anyway, those are. I have many other uh, uh, oh, colorful words, but we'll keep them for other time. Abyssal spade. Abyssal spade. Edie, hello. Hello there. I'm getting hey. Ivan. I couldn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Those are mappers. Oh, 
Viot, send send your old. No. The old side did. Ah. Hey, come on. Yeah. Uh, Say in English. Alpha English. Uh, well, you want to know where they are. No, no I want to know how old they are. How old they are. Yeah, well, the, how old they are is uh, anywhere between 10 and 23. Oh. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Is that him that you and they, they live in, in five, four or five different time zones. That must be convenient. Yeah. <laughs> right. If, so I slept always, the, if I slept a crank. So we'll insane. always have a place to visit. That's it. Mm -hmm. As soon as we can move. Yeah. <laughs> that will okay. Nice. And Bonnie, your turn. Yeah, hi. Hi. I, I have a very funny story to tell you. This is a true story, and those are usually the funniest. When Ed she and always I, tries to embarrass me, but she can't you know, I'm do not, it. I'm not going to do that now. Can't so do it. When Ed and I were married pretty young, and we had, uh, we had Adam. Adam was about, uh, he talked very early, and he was about two. And Ed came home from work, and Adam started in talking and would not let up for about 35 minutes. And Ed had just walked in, <laughs> and he needed to take a breath. And nonchalantly, as he passed me in the kitchen, he said, I need a new Chinook. <laughs> does, any, does anyone know what that means? I'm ready for a new Chinook, he said. Does anyone notice that on TV shows, there are a lot of Yiddish words being used yeah. that are being worked in? They'll talk. Yeah. They'll say schlep or they'll say the whole Michigas. Or fetch. Or oh, yeah. Fetch. A lot yeah. of stuff. You see it all over the place on yeah. talk oh, shows, yeah. on police shows. But our kids never never picked up anything. We we occasionally would work words into the conversation, hoping this, we could get another generation out of this. But I mm. don't think it's really working. Is anyone else? Uh, is anyone else? No, have they just know the buzzwords. That's right. Yeah, doesn't that's work. That's much, right. Yeah. 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 What is the yeah. 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 In dread. The mother yeah. language is, and the language is flexible too. If you get stuck on a word, you just say it in English with an accent. Do you know how many years? <laughs> how many years? My mother thought. My mother actually thought that the word for window was vinda. Vinda. And it's not. The word is actually Fenster. 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 Uh, Fenster. I, I understand. Vinda. Yeah, because someone yeah, got stuck I think in the New York, there are New York Hasidim who do say Vinda. Yeah. And they think they're talking Yiddish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrea's at, raising yeah, I got a question. I Go ahead. Wanna, I just want to know what Hakimita Chinook is. Banging a tea oh, kettle. Crazy bang, in the head. Banging a tea banging kettle. Don't, don't bang me again. Wait a minute. I've got talking. five people saying five different well, things. Raise, your, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Ruth, 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 explain it. Ruth, Ruth, please. Ha, okay. In Yiddish, it's hak mir nit kind shinik, which right. word for word means don't hit me a tea kettle. And what it went, so it's a, it's like a, a idiomatic, it's an idiom. And what it means is don't drive me crazy. If you keep pounding a tea kettle, you're gonna make somebody crazy. So yeah. it means stop driving me crazy. My money, Anna, 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 raise your hand. Go ahead, Anna. 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 So you probably don't know it, but Chinese is a Polish word. It means a tea kettle. Yep. A lot of Yiddish words are Polish, right. like shmata. Yeah. Shmata oh, in yeah. Polish is shmata. Yeah. It's a rag. Yeah. It's a Polish word adopted by Jews. That's so, like right. you say, the window. Yes. This it, it happened in Poland, or I don't know, kapusta. Surely. Cabbage head. That's also that's um. It's a Polish word. Hungarian. Also, that's Hungarian. No, 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 no. no. I'm from Poland. It's also and Polish. Kapusta is 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 cabbage. It's a cabbage it's head. Polish yeah. word. Yeah. It's purely Polish word. No, it's and there are hundreds of Polish words that are adopted <laughs> into Yiddish. In well, many that, ways. That's basically where Yiddish was spoken was in Eastern Europe. Right. right. In many many ways, Yiddish is a bastardized language in that we lived in so many places that we incorporated words from everywhere we were, Hungary, yeah, exactly. German. Yeah, that's um, right. Um, exactly. Basically, German, German with Polish and Russian and 
uh, whatever words, and Hebrew, a lot of Hebrew words, whenever they didn't get it. Um, I learned Yiddish in Yiddish school, in my school, and we, we read the literature, and it was in Yiddish with, but any Hebrew word was spelled Hebrew. So, right. so about, I don't know, 10, 20% of the words were Hebrew words. About but 10%. a lot of them were basically Polish words that were uh, in Yiddish. I I mean, Joe has been raising his hand. Go ahead, Joe. Me? So you're talking about TV programs you know, and, and Jewish words. I think one of the most famous is being baklemt. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which means which means for Elaine all all up. Up. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Joe. So I, I've got one thing to add to add to what Anna said. I may have said this in the past meeting. So Shirley and I were in uh, Warsaw, and we went to dinner in a restaurant uh, mm -hmm. under the square, and. Uh, on the table was a crock, you know, and, and, and it had this white stuff in this. And I called the waiter over and I said, well, what is this? And he says, it's schmaltz. That's a Polish used Yiddish <laughs> words so, too. So that, well, well, maybe it was the other way around. It's, it, Anna, it's, it's, it's schmaltz. It's schmaltz, no. schmaltz is right. a, a German word that yeah. the Polish yeah. language yeah. was not very well developed. So in Polish language, you, you have a lot of French and German words. Mm -hmm. Schmaltz is German, I think. You know what? I believe so. Uh, it's very famous to have a schmaltz brot. When my family came over from Europe, there wasn't a lot of money, so they would make bread mm -hmm. and they would put the schmaltz on top of it. That's yeah. right. Schmaltz brot. I grew up on that. All right, let's, let's go over to Elaine, Elaine <laughs> Tesler. Oh, okay. Well, as, as you know, I don't have a lot of Yiddish background, so what I'll tell you I remember is and it gives you a, a, a glimpse into my childhood. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and Gay Schlopfen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pachentachist. We don't want to have one of those. And Gay Schlopfen, go to bed. Go sleeping. Right. And Gay Avec. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. That's good, Elaine. It was a very loving household. <laughs> <laughs> Harriet. Well, I mean, one of the things I always, my mother used to, if she got mad, at it, she just wasn't gay cock enough and yum. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember yeah. that. <laughs> what, is that, what does that mean, yeah. translate? Translate it, Harriet, please. Um, let him go defecate on the, on I guess it's a river. Uh, in the in ocean. The, in the river. ocean. In the ocean. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so that really was my mother's favorite. And I had another one already, I forgot. Write it, write it, write, everybody write this <laughs> down. So you okay, so, so I you forgot is Shoyen Ferguson. I forgot yeah. already. Yeah, I'm Shoyen Ferguson, absolutely. You know, we talk about the English guy, Sean Ferguson. That's right. <laughs> you know, That's the old years. joke. The Ellis okay. Island joke. Bonnie, are you with us? I'm, I'm with you. I uh, say something. My, well, I'm enjoying listening, but my mother, when our two, our two youngest children would come to visit, she'd call one Shane and put them, and the other one Nudnik. <laughs> the what? Nudnik. Nudnik. Well, that's somebody who constantly pesters. That's a Polish word. Yeah, that's also, yes, you can tell by the nick on the end of it. <laughs> Anna, we're back to you. Al, Al, Al Ruth has had her hand up for quite a while. So I'm sorry. I, I, as I say, I'm trying to go on the screen. So oh. I'm not uh, a, a couple of things. We, uh, first of all, we talked about Yiddish being the secret language. And even to this very day, um, my, my eldest son is very good at languages. He, uh, I mean, he, he learned Hebrew in school, but he kind of taught himself French. So he picked up a lot of Yiddish, even though we don't speak a lot of Yiddish. So when he's talking to me and he doesn't, and he's home and he doesn't want his wife to understand what he and I are saying, he goes, well, uh, we, this would not be a really good time to talk because we'd have to speak Yiddish. So Yiddish, you know, I mean, who's using Yiddish now as a secret language? Also, somebody brought up Schwiger. My husband does call my mother Schwiger. And the funniest thing, you know, people put names in their telephones. If my mother calls my husband's phone, it comes up 
Schwiger. He actually has, that's my mother's telephone name for him, Schwiger. Um, and then the, the last thing I have, um, we have a couple Israelis here or people who've lived in Israel. If you guys have seen the um, TV show Srugim, um, yeah. a lot of people have seen that, right. So there's, um, I forgot the character's name, but he's the doctor, um, a Nazi, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nazi. Right, so he had, uh, he had one um, patient who was driving him crazy because Israel has socialized medicine. So I guess some people abuse the system and, and she kept wanting to be admitted to the hospital because um, you know she got taken care of in the hospital and she was lonely. So he writes in her, in, in her chart, he's, uh, he knows she doesn't belong in the hospital. He's trying to get her discharged. So he writes down her diagnosis. Now this is Israel, so everything's in Hebrew, but he writes her diagnosis, the English letters, G M G, and the nurse watches him, and she goes, uh, "Maze G M G. What is G M G?" He says, "Gornished mit gornished." There's nothing wrong with her, which means nothing with nothing. <laughs> I had Al. Al. Okay, so we were at, I think, Hannah. Oh, Hannah. Oh, Anna or Hannah? Hannah. <laughs> You didn't enjoy this. If you hi, hi, Anna. <laughs> hi. Oh, that's pretty. Yup, uh, 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 um, a yup. That's a skirt. I, I, isn't that Polish? No, it's Russian. Oh, it's I Russian. think. Oh, or okay. Ukrainian. Oh. It's not Polish. Okay. My mother used to say that all the time. <laughs> the skirt, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. So, is who's she? Who's speaking? You. Oh, okay. You. So. I have a few more, so um, so my, my mother was something she wanted to say, I couldn't care less. She would say, Yeah. <laughs> or, or she would tell me, you shouldn't care less. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, if, if you wanted like to save some time when you, it means I, I couldn't care less. If you wanted to save some time and you save some, uh, you took a shortcut, let's say you're in the kitchen, and you say, you say, oh, a gishporta narbet. You save the oh, you saved work. yourself. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, gishporta narbet or dashporta narbet. Okay, foil a stick. Oh, yeah. Or, or nourish a stick. Yeah. A nourish a. It's like this. Right, being, uh, how would you describe it? You have to translate. Like, uh, foolish, foolishness, act foolish, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, if somebody was, let's say, very rich and he was able to afford something very easily, they would say, ah, by end spielt nicht a role. You know, right. did everybody hear this expression? Yes. yes. Yeah, wait, My parents know. were Polish, so I don't know what it means. Uh, what else? Um, Oh, I, my mother had an uncle. This builds up on Mike, what you said <laughs> in your family. He would say, oh, yeah. really it's another <laughs> one. Like it is. Well, <laughs> I, Al, 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 we, gotta, we gotta move on. We gotta go okay, ahead. so David, David Pritzker, David. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> it's, it's hard for me to, to, to pull out of out, out of the uh, the cobwebs of the brain, uh, expressions uh, on my own, but I, I react to many of the things that have been said tonight, having heard them. Uh, unfortunately, though I had the opportunity as a child to learn when my parents were, were speaking what I wasn't supposed to hear, I never took advantage of it. Uh, so I, I really regret that. Um, I, I was particularly struck tonight by the, uh, the, the expression about um, the, uh, uh, what, what was it about, uh, don't show a half done job to a fool. Right. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, it's like, uh, well, I, I, never, I never heard it in Yiddish, but my mother would often quote her mother who spoke only Yiddish, uh, and I got the English translation, which was kind of a different sense from what was said tonight. The, the, uh, the, the sense that I heard it in was uh, uh, 
that don't you you would say to the person who didn't or couldn't or wouldn't understand you don't be a fool until the job is finished then it was okay to be a fool about it so it's kind of a different sense slightly different um, yeah, yeah, yeah some other expressions that that come back to me as i listen to you all is my mother uh, was particularly sensitive to, to people who looked at her funny. And depending on the gender of, of the person who was looking at her funny, she would kind, uh, kind, of, kind of grunt a little bit and say, ah, upon him, off, yeah, uh, upon, if, upon him, off him, um, a face on him. Face and if they were really, funny. really looking mean, if, if they were really looking mean, uh, the, the the worst version of this was it is an anti-Semit. Um, uh, <laughs> How about a farbissin upon him? A farbissin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a farbissin upon him. He's really. What, what's that? Farbissin upon him. Farbissin is bitter. A bitter, bitter face. Bitter, bitter face. He's really. Okay, I see yeah. Rochelle Schwartz. I see the name. I don't see a face. She was on Are you for a short us? time. She she was on the screen for a short time, but it, and Cheryl. And so, Cheryl. So you guys want to unmute yourself and, and share? Well, yeah. Are we right on okay. No you see, I don't I don't have a lot to say. I'm just listening. Sometimes the sound is going out, so I'm missing some stuff. Oi. What's but, your favorite uh, expression? Uh, I don't know. We're What's talking about what the they share. What did they call you they when what? you were little? Uh, well, that's in my my father used to call me Cheryl Barilla. Cheryl Barilla, okay. Um, and when I the last thing that one of my grandmothers ever said to me was because she had severe dementia, probably Alzheimer's, and the last time I saw her. She looked at me and she said, "Is Shana Punim?" But that's uh, a pretty face. That's it. I mean, my like grandmother referring to herself. Yeah. She always, uh, okay, she would always so. refer to herself as a greener or a greenhorn. That's right. I and um, when she was older I and not, not quite as steady on her feet, so she'd always say, "I'm not a shicker. I'm not a shicker. <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> I'm not a drunk." Yeah. Right. Um, and you know, a lot of, a lot of expressions I've completely forgotten. And it's only when I get together with, uh, one of my cousins that sometimes she'll, she'll various expressions. And so they, you know, I, I have vague memories of them, but, uh, I don't know. I, I, I took Yiddish classes for a couple of years and I've forgotten most of what I learned. Unfortunately, if we don't use it, we lose it. This is a sham. My, my baba flag, Zogan, my, my grandmother used to say, the Liebe is this, Abbas is besser mit Breit. Okay? <laughs> Love is sweet, but it's better with bread. If you remember the, uh, the show um, Cabaret, you know, money yeah. makes the world go round. Without yeah. money, even love goes out the door. I guess that was their way of saying it. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, love is sweet, but it's better if you have, if you're making a living, yeah. if you have what to eat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you need to call on Rochelle. She's, she's the last. I Rochelle, I, 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 I got her first. We didn't hear back. Rochelle, are you with us, sweetie? Z's kite. Mizen and da. Hello. Abanished. No, we have about uh, six minutes. So, so, so I've got six two, minutes. I've got right. two two things to say. So there's one expression that that I know Shirley uses a lot of on, on, on one particular person, <laughs> but there's another person too. That she calls him a Schwitzer. Oh, oh um, yeah. yeah, a Schwitzer, a, 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 brag a braggadocio. Yeah. And, and, and the other thing I wanted to thank. Would um, you say that again? Say the word again. A schwitzer. A schwitzer. Like sweating, but it's a schwitzer. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. So that was it. And, and then I wanted to just thank Bonnie and Cheryl. I, a couple people mentioned the Shana Punim. So. So I got to tell you, 
Shirley's first words to our grandchildren, she always looks to call them Shana Putnam. And so the first words they start speaking, like we got a granddaughter that's three. I think when she was two, she was already saying, what, what's your name? She says, Shana Putnam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. That's the word. But thanks, Bonnie. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Did anybody hear uh, the, the put down is a Zan Goylem? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. A, golem, the... a golem. A golem is somebody oh, who doesn't... Right, yeah. but my parents used it for, you know, yeah. for an idiot, you know, somebody who right. doesn't know what's yeah, going on. Don yeah. Goylem. Right. Yeah. Mike? Does anybody know what the golem was? Yeah, and we well, saw that in Czechoslovakia. We saw right. that. The, we it was in, it was in, in a story back in Europe. This was like a, a man golem. made out of clay, like a Frankenstein. Yes, that's almost. right. Yeah. In in, in Yiddish it's a Goylem. Yeah. A goylem. I have a t shirt somebody brought me that says on it the Goylem. Shirley. <laughs> Shirley. Yes. Shirley, did your mom call you a Kleine Cholera? No, I was called a, a Schwarze Cholera. Oh, Schwarze Cholera? You are not Schwarz. Wait, 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 why don't you translate that? Schwarz and Cholera. A Kleine, it's a little. Cholera is cholera, really. Right. But yeah. Good thing. Uh, yeah, I've heard that you're a black oh, cholera. <laughs> you know, little plague or a black plague. Yeah. Malaria translates exactly as cholera, but the so plague. I play canasta, and every time I get bad car online with my friends, I say ah brach, and all the you know all my friends say ah brach, <laughs> but they say brach. <laughs> <laughs> So what does that mean? I don't know. Oh, terrible. A broth is it. actually a blessing, but when you say it that it's way, it's not a blessing. It's, it's a blessing. blessing. A broth. Bad blessing. A bad catastrophe. Back, back to the goylem. Uh, there, I remember in Chicago go, going to a Yiddish play, the goylem. Yes. Yeah. Actually, it was a play, and of course, the story is they did make a man, a big man, or like a, almost like a robot out of clay in this village to protect them. That's right. And the goylem does come to life. I mean, that's the story. It's an interesting, it was a very uh, interesting, but that's when I understood Yiddish fluently. <laughs> if you can find it out there somewhere on the internet, it's a great story. Yeah. Uh, Harriet, 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 Harriet's raising her hand. Go I ahead. just wanted to find out my mother used to call me, I don't know whether it's Russian or Yiddish, a marshas. Yishat. Okay. Marshas. I it think is. that's Russian. That's I Russian. Okay. It wasn't was complimentary. <laughs> I was going to say, was she mad at you at the time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never really knew, know exactly what it meant. <laughs> We had a, a Russian neighbor who would call all the girls Krasavitska. Yeah, yeah. Am I saying it right, Anna? Krasavitska? Krasavitska, it's beauty. A beauty. That's what they call all the girls. Yes. It's, it's pretty. It's Krasavitska, somebody beautiful. We worried about that man. <laughs> I, see, I see Julian's got a hand up. Anna, where are you? I see, as a matter of interest in the, for the book, in the dictionary, a broch is a disaster or a fracture. Oh, yeah, that's right. Disaster that's or a right. fracture, a broch. Yeah. Oh, that's what I say when I get bad cards in Canasta. Yes. <laughs> 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 that's a that word for 40 years. <laughs> Anna, <laughs> years we've heard you use much different words, too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When my mother played Mahjong and the tiles wouldn't come and all of her friends used the same expression, they actually borrowed from the sitter to buy an Ishalaylam. Master of the universe. Yeah, I think Andrea. Andrea? I just wanted to say um, I have to go, but and this has been a lot of fun. So thank you. We'll see you next week. Week. So, uh, you know, I'm next week. You know, invite invite your fam in two weeks, two weeks. We two weeks. Have another week. Invite your friends and family, you know, and, and, and if, if you have any young ones that, that might want to learn a little bit, you know, invite them too. Okay. I think Will you send out, thank you. Will you send out another link?
or should yeah, I send out the link? What I'll do is in the next one, I'll send out the link to the registration form. So there's a there's a registration. So we have everybody. Uh, uh, did somebody else have their hand up? I do. Go ahead. Thank you. My son just called to give me a bulletin. I'm going to share it with y'all. That the Dodgers, the, the LA Dodgers, and used to be the Brooklyn Dodgers, are playing the Atlanta Braves, and there's a nice Yiddish boy pitching. Yeah. Oh, who is that? Is a baseball fan. His name is Matt, like Friedman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atlanta, yeah. yeah. I Atlanta. think I looked him up. He's one of the best pitchers in baseball. <laughs> Nachas. I can't hear you, Rosie. <laughs> we're, you know, the expression, we're shepping nachas. Yeah, yeah. 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 My mother heard somebody was Jewish. That was all she needed. Oh, there, that's fine. That's wonderful. Look at that. Yiddish <laughs> natal. Yiddish, uh, yeah. That's a sehr good. Betty has the hand up. Whatever Rosie just said, I would say, I get Dylan Oh, Dylan Hart McMurtrofen. Yeah, but there was something to do it. Oh, I don't remember. And also Unzura, the picture is Unzura, and the others are Yenna. A gross metzia is a big bargain. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Boy, yeah. That, boy, that just reminded me. I used to smoke I mean, a gazillion years ago. And they used to tell me, used to tell me the brand I smoked. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Hannah has her hands. I used to hate people like you. Well, you know what happened? I, I quit smoking, so where did Hannah went? Hannah, <laughs> oh, me too. Yeah, so, <laughs> you had... Royce and Mitzia usually sit sarcastically yeah. to somebody who thinks it's a big deal, but it's not a big deal. Right. 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 And, and, and I wanted to clarify, and I wanted to clarify earlier when I said um, that uh, somebody is missing a clip. Key. I think it applies universally to them. Not, I'm not, no bias. No, I, I'm not referring to anybody in particular. <laughs> <laughs> We're all missing. You can apply it to either or, whatever. <laughs> Betty, Betty, go ahead. Yeah, I want to, all these people that I have tonight say, get cock and open yum, please not. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know that one? Yeah. Cock and open yum. Did we mention Alta Cocker? Alta Cocker. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what they call it. Also, when people get frustrated, they'll tell you, get cocks the guys. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was also very nice. Oh, one at a time. One at a time. And the opposite of Alta Cocker, oh, Azan Pisho. About yeah. Fisher, yeah. you know, somebody's still up. He's in his pants. Julian, you had your head up. Go ahead. And the then big, Harry will the be next. Okay, Harry. Big, uh, a big uh, shock is another. If I broke something, a Shana Raina Kapora. Kapora, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's She's translate. Shana is pretty. Raina is clean. Yeah. Oh, how do you translate Kapora? A curse, a, 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 a sterilized curse. That's the like Kapura a sterilized thing. curse. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Julian <laughs> made a Kapura. A big Good. shot, and a big shot is a Groisa Macha, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Or a Groisa Kanaka. Or a Groisa Macha. So no. my mom used to say Bakaksach the Feast, not not Gaikaknov and Yam, but Bakaksach the Feast. Anybody? Yeah, no. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Translate, translate, translate that. Anna. Anna, translate it. Poop on your feet. <laughs> no, we didn't get that. Afam Yam. 
No, my mom was yeah, the Yeah, Mr. Ocean. But Anna, Benny, your husband used to say, Guy Kaken of Mark. Yes, Mark. of Mark. Yeah, that too. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, wasn't there, wasn't there a, a, a curse? Do uh, zol vaksin via tibula min kapin? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 she's like an onion with your head in the ground. Your head in the ground and you're the air. Mention, mention, the vat vat from the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, before everybody goes, remember, write them down. Um, you'll, you Transliterate have, them if, if you, you have, have to. to. And then when I send out the invitation, you'll have my email address, send them to me, and I'll start compiling them. Okay. And we'll okay. get some okay. can, can, can we wish you all a ZCR? Somebody had their hand up. Just remind me last next time I have a story about Ruth Shirley. Wait, the the German one? Yeah. The she can I watch it already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did. I was so good. Okay. And are you going to continue Yiddish expressions? Is that it? We'll do that. We'll do. We'll do that next and time. And and, and and songs. We were going to do songs next time too. Oh, good. Ah, Shang Vidi Lavuna. We'll ask everybody if that was song. Shang Vidi Lavuna, Lechtig Vidi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So we'll do songs yeah. next time after we finish expressions. It seems like there's. Everybody just remembers one after another when we start talking here. You know? Yeah, I, I learned them all in the Catskill Mountains. Uh, I didn't learn so much from Grandma. I learned it from uh, the comedians on stage. So right. that was my education, strongly so, in uh, maybe was the 50s, 60s, 70s. Yeah, the Jewish comedians. Yeah, sure. And they certainly uh, Shirley, Shirley brought one home for I think you told it here, right? And up, yeah. yeah she, she, she really not going to tell it because it was, it got her father laughing like you wouldn't believe. And she says, ah. it but it didn't translate. Well. Well. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. It was funny. Well, thank you, Mike. Thank you all for joining. I give you. Thank you. Click the big event. A big event. And be well. A big be well. Be well. Yeah. Yeah. A big event. Yeah. The fuck is it?